is not good in the hood. Um, our engine stopped working in the middle of the night. Um, so it's Tuesday the 9th of October 2018 and we're about to sail from Greece to Sicily so it'll be it'll be T's first major passage yeah and it'll be my first passage as owner skipper um, so we're, we're nervous I'm so excited. Is that, is that? Yeah, I think we're excited and nervous. Yeah. We're leaving Catalonia, we've just left Catalonia, and uh, we are just heading out of this kind of channel between Angostoli and Catalonia, and then we're going to turn right and go to Sicily. <laughs> for quite a long way. <laughs> How long? We'll be about 250 miles by that point. Yeah, no. So much preparation. Yesterday was insane, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, so we've provisioned, we've sorted the grab bag, we've done the, we're making sure the dinghy's all right. Um, and we should arrive Thursday morning. Yeah. So we've just sent messages to people on shore to be our kind of watch keepers um, and we've told them Thursday afternoon so that we've got enough leeway to give, put them out of their misery hopefully um, when we're within the reach of land and we can contact them and tell them that we, we nearly made it um, so other than that we're all ship shape all good to go Like velvet. The sun is 
the sun is sinking into the horizon as we speak and it's just stunning. We can't see land at all. Um, we've not seen another boat for about two hours. Uh, tea's making dinner. We're having uh, beans and sausages. Um, but other than that, have a look at this. Follow us, which is quite cute. Um, 
but other than that, I've not seen anything of note yet. on first watch tonight, night number two. Yeah. How are you finding it? It's good, I'm up for it. I know that I can do it now. Yeah. It did look slight, so I can do it tonight. Yeah. This way. Hopefully it's just tonight. Yeah. I think it's probably wrong. <laughs> calculations and we should have had at least 30 40 litres still left in the tank um, so we sailed through the night avoided the boats the container ships this morning um, I have bled the fuel system checked the coolant um, just checked everything that I possibly can I had the manual out um, I think there's um, some air in the fuel system. Um, so we're under sail. Um, it's all okay at the minute because the wind's going in the right direction. We are heading to where we want to go. We've got enough water, uh, food. Um, we should get um, GPS signal soon, which will allow us to make some phone calls, hopefully. Um, we do have VHF signal but only just 
we're about 30 nautical miles from Sicily so we just need to get close to land really um, and then make a decision about what we're going to do. So that's where we are. Um, lessons learned. Become a mechanic quicker. sailed into Sicily to Syracuse um, sorry we didn't get on camera um, it required our full attention um, and it was slightly stressful um, but here's what we had to say when we when we finally made it Hello. we have just landed literally in Sicily um, we sailed in uh, at night to Syracuse, which was a little daunting because there's a load of rocks as you come in and there's two leading lights and you just have to make sure that you're on it. We were both like checking the plotters like crazy. Um, and then we got in, we sailed in with both sails, even though the marina said drop them, but there was no wind, so it's like, well, we're going to sail in. So we sailed in, dropped the main, came in under the Genoa nice and slowly. Um, and a really, really nice Italian met us in his tender to help us berth because um, it's quite a tight marina. But oh my god, it's stunning. Like, imagine like a five star hotel and times it by like a hundred of them, and our boat is outside. It's quite um, nice, isn't it? Oh, it's just beautiful. And when we came in, we came in with a pod of dolphins. And then when we came into the actual marina, fireworks went off. So to the was like, oh, you shouldn't have. Thanks. <laughs> uh, and now we're, I think we're in a really, really, really expensive marina. But do you know what? I couldn't, I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> we are safe. We'll get the engine fixed. We're going to drive out of here. Um, and we had a beautiful sail today, didn't we? It was amazing. It was stunning. It, it kind of took away from the fact that... Um, <laughs> it kind of took away from the fact that the the journey was a bit stressful. Yeah. It was really nice. And the wind just arrived when we needed it. And then the engine went and we were 100 miles off the shore. And it was dark and it frankly it was it was really frightening I was frightened anyway there yeah was, well, it wasn't there, ideal <laughs> there was one of those big um, 50 foot or bigger like probably much bigger actually tanker, 50 foot across <laughs> tanker type 
boats, the sort that just look like a small town. Yeah. Um, and fortunately, it wasn't coming our way, but um, you know, that yeah. was that was it could have been much more stressful than it ended up being. And anyway, then the wind just it just kind of we got a little bit, and we were going along about a knot. <laughs> but it was in the right direction. Yeah. It's not in the right direction is better than being just blown off course yeah. and not being able to do anything. And then it just started picking up a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. And through throughout the day it picked up and then we were doing like a steady six knots and then it was steady eight and then we got to like twelve thirteen and we went going pretty much as tanking. Fast. And it was beautiful. And yeah. we got here and we got here just as it was getting dark. Yeah. And it was just brilliant. So what do you think of your first First passage tea. <laughs> yeah, it's been it. It's actually been re most of it's been really beautiful. I mean, and I've just really enjoyed it. It's yeah. been an amazing thing to go from one place one in one country yeah. to somewhere completely different. And it was not just a short hop. It's like it was two hundred and fifty miles. You know, I mean, it's not across the Atlantic, but. It's quite far, and it's just an amazing sense of um, independence, really, to have done that. And it was great. Except for the Italians that brought us in the end. <laughs> but, well, well, that helped us birth. <laughs> it was just birth. It was the last, like, 100 metres, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was great. I've really enjoyed it, actually. Um, it's been quite stressful, but then it's it's been exciting, and this is an adventure, and I guess adventures have um, bits in that are a bit scary sometimes that's okay and it's all right and we um, made it yeah <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, really appreciate it. Join us next time as we hunker down in Ragusa and taste some of the local wine and carbohydrates. Thanks.